So here we are, finally, please don't hate me. Jurassic World is directed by Colin Trevorrow, co-written by him, Rick Jaffa, Amanda Silver, and Derek Connolly, and stars Chris Pratt, Bryce Dallas Howard, Vincent D'Onofrio, Jake Johnson, Irfan Khan, and B.D. Wong. And in Jurassic World, John Hammond's vision for a dinosaur theme park has come to full fruition. Um, there's this new theme park called Jurassic World that's been operational for 10 years now, but because consumer demand is so high for new attractions, they decided to create their own genetically modified hybrid um, of these dinosaurs called the Indominus Rex, which eventually breaks out and starts causing havoc throughout the park. Now, I was actually really excited to watch this movie because, I don't know, it just felt like they could actually get it right um, this time. Um, and while I will say that this is the best Jurassic Park sequel we've gotten so far in my opinion, it's still kind of disappointing to me because while it is fun to watch, while Chris Pratt is great in it and Colin Trevorrow's direction is competent, it's ultimately just kind of a dumb popcorn thriller at the end of the day. Now the CGI in Jurassic World for the most part looks good, especially the design of the Indominus Rex which really comes off as a monster rather than a dinosaur. It has like a Frankenstein's creation look going to it. Um, and the animatronic dying Apatosaurus head um, looks fantastic. It's like old school Jurassic Park. It looks great. Um, and there's lots of great sound in the movie as well with all these different dinosaurs on display. Uh, I think it's like the most number of species they've had in one movie. Um, and once again, the Indominus also sounds really cool in that it, it sounds like something particularly evil and reptilian and not, not quite organic. And I do think the movie is edited well by Kevin Stitt. Things are always moving but in a, in a more cohesive way than in Jurassic Park 3. It feels like there's like a whole cause and effect thing between scenes. Uh, and there are more than a few moments of suspense and fear, which is great to see after the third movie, which had none of that. Chris Pratt in the movie is great. He has total leading man charisma. I'm so confident he can take on any action role he wants uh, after this movie. And it's really his commitment to the role that manages to sell the fact that he's training raptors. You know, you buy it because of him. Um, and Bryce Dallas Howard and Jake Johnson turn in solid work as well, even, if, even though they don't really have that much to do. And Colin Trevorrow as a director really manages to pull off making these CGI dinosaurs feel like characters, especially the raptors, which is just what uh, Steven Spielberg did in the first movie, uh, which is great to see. And I do feel like Colin Trevorrow knows he's not really taking things too seriously in this movie, because there's a tone of underlying fun throughout everything, you know, and it really works for this kind of movie because it's really fun to watch. However, I do have quite a few problems with the movie. For one, after you see the animatronic Apatosaurus, every other dinosaur in the movie just looks fake because everything else is CGI and the Apatosaurus just looks so good. And I normally wouldn't say this as a negative, but for me, this series uh, was a pioneer in animatronics, so it really needed more practical effects because at a certain point you realize that it just feels like that th these actors are acting in front of nothing, which is unfortunate. Um, and the actors themselves aren't bad, it's just that there's one actor who sticks out like a sore thumb, he's the one who plays the older brother among the two brothers, uh, Zach. Yeah, he's played by Nick Robinson and he has one facial expression the entire time, he's so annoying, I hated watching him, I'm sorry. Um, but really the biggest problem in the movie for me is that the writing is pretty bad. Um, you know, there's just way too many subplots going on here that don't really make sense, they're all ridiculous, they don't connect to each other either, instead of, you know, converging to, to serve a main storyline, instead the main plot is just riddled with so many little, like, illogical things and conveniences that it really, for me, chipped away at the experience, um, and pretty much all the dialogue in, in the movie is exposition or forced character development that never works. Um, and the characters themselves are terrible. They're extremely bland. Uh, their plot devices, pretty much, uh, you really don't care if any of them die. And they, like none of the human relationships in the movie, you know, you actually feel any emotion for. Like the best relationship in this movie is between Chris Pratt and his Velociraptors, and that's not a good thing. So in the end, while I will say that Jurassic World is the best Jurassic Park sequel we've gotten so far, it's still not really a good movie in my opinion. It's okay, it's definitely fun to watch, but for me it was forgettable and it's pretty dumb at the end of the day. Alright, so those are my thoughts on Jurassic World. Have you guys seen it? What do you think about it? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Whatever you thought, whether you agree with me or not, please leave me a comment. Let's have a conversation.